This is About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills, author, speaker, and entrepreneur. Sit back and enjoy. Greetings, fam. Today, you know what? I'm going to talk about creating a new industry. And yeah, look, I'm going to be honest. I know most of us ain't going to do that. But who's to say someone hearing the sound of my voice doesn't have some idea that can create something entirely new that people will jump into, right? You know, I'll take the example of yoga, right? Yoga has actually, there's actually a whole yoga industry just based on that exercise. Now, it wasn't one person created it, and it was a, you know, ancient practice. But in the States now, somebody, you know, through clothing, foods that a yogi could eat, they are creating something that could really, um, that's employing lots of people. And the beauty of it is you have people who are teaching it, but you have people supporting it and everything, right? Now, who's to say that someone listening to the sound of my voice doesn't have some idea of what to create, right? Like, one of the things, uh, like, um, no, nah, I won't use that example. I'll hold that one off. <laughs> That's uh, something personal or wrong, so I'll, I'll hold that one off for a while. But say, um, what's a good example? All right, say somebody figured out it's like somebody creates a whole new genre genre of writing or a style of writing. Um, it could be science, you know, just uh, on some subject or I don't. It can be anything. Let's just say it's on. Uh, I, I'm trying to think of something. You know, um, okay, Rom's drawing a blank because I'm trying to think of something. Because I see one thing, Rom got a bunch of ideas, but I ain't trying to give. I, I'm giving away some stuff. I ain't trying to give away everything. So I'm, I'm trying to think about how to how to put this. Um, um, <laughs> yeah, probably like Rom. You gonna say um and, uh, and laugh throughout this video? Um, let's just say um. All right, yeah, a style of writing. I'll, I'll say a genre, right? Let's just say it's a genre based on, I'll, I'll borrow from my other channel, the classic man, right? The classic man, that intellectual type of man, right? You can, and I, I think I did a video over there about this, but you can create a whole industry just based on that, right? Now, here's how you would do it. Say, you know, somebody, instead of the images that we have presently in the media, of men who uh you know that action hero type say somebody say well you know i'm gonna write a story where the hero is is, is solving everything and he's more intellectual right you can create a whole industry just based on that one concept right because first of all you got books you got books you got artwork you got comic books right you know, all types of media. You can have magazines, everything. You can have all, first of all, you can have a whole print media, a whole publishing media just on that one concept. And then, you know, you need, you, that would create websites, that would create blogs. Uh, you know, those blogs and websites, they get uh, traffic. Advertisers would feed into it because they're trying to be where the people are going. And you start creating money. You know, just off that concept, you can create a whole film industry. You know, you can create a bunch of movies, especially with the technology nowadays. You can, you know, you can um, you can make a movie with a smartphone nowadays. I actually know a young lady who actually did a nice little short film based on just using a smartphone, right? But you can create a whole industry there. You can create a lot of jobs there. Right. Because as you create something, everything can grow. You know, and I want you to think, I want people to think about what you got going on, because that's really what's going to have to happen. You know, it's about job creation when you when you're an entrepreneur. Right. When you're an entrepreneur, 
Sometimes you just create something, you know, you might be a sole proprietor or, you know, you just want something you can do yourself. That's cool. But then you got some people, they can create something where millions can eat literally. And you're going to need that. We need, well, that's the really, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this out there. That's the type of leadership we need. And especially in the black community. I mean, I know I have everybody listening, but especially in the black community, we need people who want to think in terms of creating jobs, not asking somebody for jobs or not trying to promote diversity and stuff and get up in somebody else's stuff, but to just create jobs. You know, we got to think that way because, hey, look, the fact of the matter is this. Automation ain't stopping. The retail thing is going to decline. It's not going to go away totally. So if you got a retail idea, um, you know what, depending on where you set up, where you have your business at and how you market yourself, you can still win depending on your product, right? So that's still going to be there. But there's going to be millions of people without a job. That's when things step up. That's when you can create something new. Like um, hip hop, that's a whole industry. You got a whole clothing, uh, music. People just see the music, but you got a lot of people eating off of that. You know, we need something of that magnitude. And you know what? You, the person listening to the sound of my voice right now, might be the one to do it. You know, no matter how small it is. Like I said, I got a couple things. I actually know some things that might happen might happen but those are some things i need to keep to myself for now because i know uh one person he keep his ideas like this particular um i'll just say i'll call it a healing modality might take off man i don't know yet you know sometimes i can see stuff sometimes i can't so i'm not going to discount it right now but you never know you never know. Like, I'll give you an example I know about. And it's kind of relationship orientated. Like, especially in the black community, you have a lot of people taking Tantra and getting into Tantra. And look it up if y'all don't know what it is, right? I remember uh, there was an event. It was a retreat back in 2007 where a bunch of, it was a few people, less than about 30 people. Uh, they were introduced to Tantra. And out of that, some people have, like, really put out some stuff and really started making money. I mean, you got p plenty of people teaching it. They're having retreats and all of that. It's basically become a little cottage industry for now. There's books, uh, retreats, teachers. So there, it's a little cottage industry for now. And it could get bigger. And I think that can happen for anything. You look at something like Zumba. Now, I haven't really seen Zumba, but I've, uh, you know, heard about it, know some practitioners and everything. That's becoming a major industry. In fact, you even, um, well, cottage industry. So it could be anything. You could come up with some new way of exercising or something, you know, or some exercise program or something. You, it's, it's possible. See, that's one of the things we need people who want to step up and create. Yeah, I've, you know, I've talked to the last couple of videos about, you know, the shrinkage of retail and, you know, consumer spending on, you know, will be down and all of that stuff. But when things happen, you know, when things like automation happen, people start losing jobs. Somebody, especially we're going to need that in the next few years. We, we're going to need thousands of people to come up with some new shit. That's the leadership we need. That's that's what we need, you know. So think about what you got. You never know. Just go for it anyway. No matter how obscure it is, if it's something you have a passion for, go for it. It might start a new industry. And that's what we need now. All right. So that's it for now. I'll talk to y'all later. Let's go make that money.